Uh, it was about the fourth inning or so, and Lee, our trainer, you know, called me into the clubhouse, and Bonnie was sitting in there, and he's like, hey, just go, go talk to him real quick, and let him know. So what was that moment like? Uh, I mean, it was special. Um, I mean, it's awesome just to be here, and, you know, to get that news was great, and, you know, I was, I was super excited to get ready and get on that plane and come here. Were you surprised by the time? <laughs> um... <laughs> I think I'd be surprised if it was. I mean, it's just an awesome, awesome moment. I'm super excited. Yeah, I talked to him right when he came in. I was talking to him and he told me I was in the lineup and stuff. I didn't expect him to be good. Um, I don't know, because you know, it was an early game today. I got him a couple hours ago, but yeah, it's ready to go. So I left at like 1 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are some of your new teammates, old teammates, the guys you work with in spring, what, what are they saying to you? Now, who's been talking to you? Um, I mean, a lot, a lot of the guys in AAA, uh, they, they all text me congratulating me. And here, they, I've talked to everyone that's come in so far, and they congratulate me as well. You know, they're, they're really excited for me to be here, and I'm really excited to be here with them. So what's, what's happening inside you that we can't see? I don't know, I'm just trying to compose myself because I, I, mean, I saw a game tonight, i got to you know, go out and win that, and that, that's my, the reason why I'm here. Um, you know, I can't get too excited, but let the emotions get to me. Has it been anticipation for you the last couple of weeks of, you know, a feeling that you thought it was coming? You know, was that kind of torturous, I guess, in a way, um, for the call? I didn't put too much pressure on it. I just went out and played every game in AAA. And, you know, played as hard as I could and tried to win as much as many games as we could there and we're doing really well there. And, uh, I mean, there's guys that have gone up and down a lot and they've, they've got a lot of talent down there and you know, I'm you know, happy to have a lead here over the White Sox and Kyle Tucker making his debut today is very exciting for all Astros fans but maybe more for the family of Kyle and with his dad Mike his wife Lisa is behind us Hannah Kyle's sister sitting behind us as well you guys made it congratulations you made it to Houston you, you're here but take me through the phone call and receiving well, the word that he made it to the show. Well, it was really weird because last night, we, you know, Lisa and I were back at a hotel up in Seneca, South Carolina last night uh, visiting her sister and family. And Lisa goes, you know what? I think Kyle's going to get a, um, you know, the call up. And I go, no, he's not. Fifteen minutes later, we get a text from Kyle said, pack your bags. No. Yeah. So, so then, then, what he, happened? then he called about five minutes later and said, hey, you know, I'm cleaning out my locker. Got to go into the apartment house. I've got to catch a flight up in uh, Sacramento. I'll call you later when I'm kind of get settled in. So. But how, how did you get here? You were in South Carolina. We were in South Carolina. We had to scramble. We had all these plans. Uh, we were going to go visit Preston for a couple of days, and then we were going to go up to Columbus, Ohio, to go watch the uh, All-Star game. So we had all these plans. <laughs> Needless to say, we had to cancel everything and then rebook everything. And, of course, the uh, flight today was an hour and a half late. So we missed the first uh, inning and a half and missed his first at bat. We were out at will call when he was up to bat. but. So anyhow, it, it was a, a long night. I'm sure, I'm sure. But you've done this before. We, we even had you on the broadcast right. when Preston made his debut a few years ago. Our memories of that flashing back, uh, does this feel like a completely different experience with well, a different It's a different kid? experience because you're here at a home crowd versus Preston. He was out on L.A. Um, you know, we got in there, you know, not a mad rush you know, because, because it was a night game versus an afternoon game. Um, so it was a little bit, a lot more different. We were a little bit more relaxed and had time to actually talk with him one on one uh, prior to him coming out the field and versus here. We just, how quickly can we get here? Absolutely. So. I, I want to know what it's like for you guys to keep up with both of them and their busy schedules. And Hannah, I'm sure, is busy too. How are you keeping up with what everyone's doing every night? Well, Hannah, you know, she lives in town, so it makes it very easy to keep up with her. But. Uh, <laughs> Uh, with the boys being on a different coast, it is a little bit more difficult. Um, you know, Kyle being at uh, the West Coast, you know, his games don't start to about 10 o'clock our time. So it's very difficult to watch uh, anything with him. I always tell him, you got to do everything in your first at bat because I'm going to bed after that. But I'll end up getting up and watching them uh, later. 
And with Preston, it's obviously a lot easier being here, everything on the East Coast. And we've been to several of the Braves games already to catch and see him. So it's been really nice. Absolutely. Just the, the feeling that everyone's having right now. What are you feeling? Well, you know, besides being exhausted, it's just very happy for him. Um, it seems weird. It's really only been uh, three and a half years since Preston was called up in uh, May of 15. Uh, and Kyle's really almost seven years older. So, you know, it, it's quite an accomplishment for him. We're just very proud of him coming here. Absolutely. I was going to say, it wasn't that long ago, we saw the entire family here taking a picture yeah. as Kyle had just been drafted. Preston was playing in that game. Do you remember that day well? Oh, yeah, very well. Just yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> very, the years go by very quickly. We are so glad to see you guys again. Well, it's been a be while, and we'll see you around. Me. Yes, thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Julie. Summer standing in this 3-2 count. Line drive off the glove. That should be a base hit for Kyle Tucker and a standing ovation for the Minute Maid Park crowd. And Jose Altuve comes out of the dugout to collect the baseball. These fans jumped out of their seats for Kyle Tucker. Welcome to the club, Kyle. The first of many for Tucker. Didn't chase. Ball four. Astro score another run. Kyle Tucker gets his first RBI as a big leaguer on a bases loaded walk. Came up with a win, so it makes it even better. I mean, I mean just being big is awesome. And just being around, especially this team, they have so much fun. How good did it mean to get the first hit? Um, yeah, uh, that was awesome, of course. Um, he threw a little slider, relatively middle. Um, I was a little out in front, but I got enough barrel on it to keep it fair, and, and luckily, he didn't catch it. So, you know, happy for that. Is it a bit of a relief to get the first hit? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was kind of a relief to put a ball forward you know, after the first three strikeouts. But, you know, you're, you're going to strike out at times. You're going to have some you know, bad ideas and bad games. You just got to grind through that and, you know, move on to the next, next AB. What did you think the way the crowd was responding to you? I mean, you, you hit a foul ball and they were going nuts. They, they were yeah. really <laughs> excited that you were here. Uh, I mean, the, the, the home crowd here is awesome. Yeah, I know. went on deck I know. You know, for my first AB. You know, I could hear everyone screaming, but just the noise in the stadium was just erupting. You know, they, they, they came out, it seemed like a full house for, for tonight. You know, I loved every part of it. Did things start to slow down a bit as, as, you, as each at bat, after each at bat? Yeah, um, I mean, as the flow of the game goes, you kind of ease into it. Um, made it a little bit easier as the game went along mm -hmm. instead of. You know, I had a bunch of stuff this morning. It kind of was kind of rushing around, and the game started. It seemed like it started real fast. And, but you know, after you know that first fly ball I caught in the, I think the second inning, I mean, it's my first AB, you know, it kind of slowed down. From there. How special was it to have your parents in the in the crowd? Yeah, they they had to kind of rush. And, they did. You know, get some flights and get here on time. But uh, I don't know if they saw my first at bat. But they got in the third. They didn't. Okay. Well, at least they missed my strikeout. So. <laughs>